When the Savior originally charged his apostles, go ye into all the world, his church was very small, with members scattered in the geographic region now known as the Middle East. His dynamic apostles, like Peter, James, John, and Paul, traveling mostly by foot or by ship, did everything they could to keep the little flock together. But the distance and the lack of communication made their work very difficult. They themselves knew that the future would bring a falling away from the teachings of the gospel. They also knew that eventually there would come to the world a restoration of the fullness of the gospel of Jesus Christ. I testify that the restoration of the gospel was accomplished beginning with the appearance of Heavenly Father and the Lord Jesus Christ to the prophet Joseph Smith in the spring of 1820. Since that glorious day, more than 90 men have been called to serve as apostles with the same commission as the apostles of old. Teach all nations that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, our eternal Father. Today our labors are greatly enhanced by jet airplanes and remarkable technology that stretch the reach of our ministry to the farthest parts of the world. Since 1820, over 750,000 full-time missionaries have served in the world, teaching and testifying of Christ in over 100 languages and in 137 nations and territories. I testify to you that it is the will of our Father in heaven, through his beloved Son, the Lord Jesus Christ, that this mighty work moves forward. It is by Him and through Him that our missionaries bear humble and sincere testimony. I'm a witness of that. I came to know for myself the truth of this work and of the Savior's divinity while serving as a full-time missionary in England 50 years ago. I know it more surely today through experiences too numerous and too sacred to discuss. This is his gospel. He stands at the head, holy, divine, supreme, full of power, majesty, grace, and truth. He lived for us and he died for us because he loves us. I love him more deeply and powerfully than I can find words to express. He is my Lord, my Savior, my Redeemer, and my friend. I know that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, our eternal Father. He lives and directs his church today through his prophet and his apostles. His great work will continue to roll forth until it fills the whole earth. This is my testimony. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, amen.